I'm outside again. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I got bees and bugs and... <laughs> Hold on, let me get you up here. There! Hi! Yay! Hi guys. Well, hello Pankaj. Obviously, I can't talk right now because I'm on here. <laughs> Hi, Witchy Woo. Hi, Katie. And Alexa Joy Faith. Lori and Sparkling C and Julie. Hi. Yes, I'm outside, which is good. It's 530. It's awful warm, which is really surprising here. It's supposed to hit 80 today, although it's been rainy, so it's like, um, I think go back to sleep, Bankash. <laughs> although uh, it's been raining, so it's kind of humid. <laughs> Hi, Louise. Hi, from Denmark. Hello, hello. Coastal Witch. Hi. You just watched the tea unboxing? Hi, Janice. Ah, oh, hi, Levi. I'm glad you're here. So, um, that tea unboxing, I don't know. It was, it was a little uncomfortable because I felt like I was selling stuff. But I told them ahead of time that, um, that, you know, I wouldn't lie about, like, if I didn't like it or something. So, I'm like, eh, you know what, whatever. <laughs> So I have, I actually have three unboxings and I'm waiting. I'm supposed to have another one come in today. Hi, Hexen. My love, how are you? Um, I'm supposed to have another one come in today. I have uh, a, an Oracle unboxing from Kickstarter. I have a tarot unboxing that I've been waiting for for a long time that finally went back into stock. Um, that was a gift from Debbie. Uh, and I have, what do I have? Oh, I also have um, just a playing card deck, or two decks actually, that I wanna show real quickly, cause I know not everybody's into playing cards. I, I also collect playing cards and I like playing cards. I used to use them for tarot time ago, but it's hard to do that sometimes. So <laughs> I don't really use them for tarot anymore. Hi, Marin. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, I decided, I don't know really how, but I decided that I was gonna, I have a lot to do still for tarot stock. So I expected to kind of get up early and really bust my ass all day for tarot stock. And I don't know if it's because I knew I had an extra day off because I have Monday off, <laughs> or I don't know. I just decided I was not going to kill myself today, though. I was just going to um, kind of relax. And what do I use regular cards for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I love playing cards, too. I Actually, um, my grandmother taught me um, how to play euchre. And so my family is kind of famous around here for playing euchre. We play euchre all the time. Well, we used to. I haven't played euchre in so long now. Um, but I love Euchre, and my grandmother taught me how to play and um, was like the best Euchre player that ever lived as far as I'm concerned. She was amazing at it. Um, and so I, I play, um, but I, and she also played Gin and Gin Rummy and Solitaire and all that kind of stuff. She had cards all over when I was a kid, so I, that always kind of makes me think of her. Um, so I think I'm going to... I hate to do this again. I think I'm going to save the kick, but because Kickstarter is um, creators that are just starting out. Really? Yep. See? Hi, Ben. Um, because Kickstarter people are just starting out, a lot of times I like to save their unboxings to be just theirs. So I'm going to save the Kickstarter deck and do another unboxing either tonight or tomorrow, I don't know, at some point, for just uh, her deck. And I think I'm gonna start with my gifted deck, which is the Crow Tarot. I'm so excited that it finally came back into stock. Debbie um, was the one that gifted it to me and she gifted it to me a long time ago and it just wasn't in stock like forever. It took, it's been months I think. 
that they kept saying it would um, it would come back into stock and and it just it took them forever to, to I don't know what they were doing with it but it's Debbie Cloyder Boyce um, is the person who gifted it, gifted it to me and I'm glad that you know it came before she's gonna be here she's gonna be at tarot stock so it'd be kind of nice to have the deck that she gifted to me by the time we got there um, <clears throat> You would fit into Michigan. I think it's our state card game. I love playing Euchre. I haven't played in so long. It would be nice. I don't know if anybody else at Tarot Stock is going to know how to play Euchre, but it would be nice to like get a little game together because I haven't played in so long. <laughs> I tried to order the Radiant Wise from Book Depository, but they sent me a refund. Ah! I know. I haven't gotten that one yet either because it hasn't been like in stock anywhere, and I, just, I don't want to wait for months and... All that kind of thing for that one either. I'm kind of hoping it'll end up like in my local um, metaphysical shop or um, Barnes and Noble or something. So you know how to play, Ben? <gasps> Yay! Maybe we'll get a game together for tarot stack. Uh, Janice learned how to do divination with playing cards first. Hey, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's quickly show the crow tarot to start out with. And then, is that your love? I really am liking the images from it. Um, it is very Rider Waite. It just really looks like she took a Rider Waite deck and, and made the crows do the Rider Waite stuff, which I think is kind of cute. Uh, hello, all. Hi, Yas. Also, love your shirt. Oh, thank you. Still learning the tarot. I've had a deck for about two years. That's okay. I, you know, I'm still learning the tarot. Uh, I feel like, I mean, I do readings for people and stuff, but I feel like it's a lifelong process. So, uh, the box for the Crow Tarot is just, um, you know, a hard two-piece box, which is great. Um, I love the outsides of the boxes now. I do wish that more creators would do a little something with the inside since we're kind of keeping these boxes now. It would be cute. You know, the creator of the Terra Fauna kind of did something on the inside. It's one of the things that you will always keep learning. Exactly. Uh, the book, the hub, hubby says that you look familiar. Really? I, I'm trying to think, Ben. I, I, well, I was just talking to um, Demoric from the um, Rochester Pagan and Witches meetup group. And I was talking to him. I haven't been to that group in so long, and I felt so bad. Um, I posted in the group this week because I haven't been since um, my mentor moved to Chicago. David moved to Chicago. It has to be like three years, I think. So I don't know if your hubby was ever involved with that, but I did used to go a long time ago. And I keep saying, I'm going to go back, I'm going to go back. I just haven't yet. And then I kind of felt bad. So the Crow Tarot. Uh, the book does not have any of the images in it. And I'm like, you know what? I, I kind of was like, oh, that's kind of weird that she doesn't have. But you have the cards. Why do you need the images in the deck, you know? I don't know. When I really thought about it, I'm looking for my glasses. <laughs> you said Brendan stayed with you. That's his cousin. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot all about that. Brendan, oh, we like practically... Um, she has a guidebook too. Meh. We practically were like Brendan's parents for a while. He was over at our house constantly. I forgot about that, Brendan Montanero. And then when he went to the Marines, we were like, oh, please don't do that, Brendan. <laughs> please don't do that. That's right. I forgot all about that. But I love little Brendan. Little Brendan, who's now a grown up and has his own kid. Gosh. Life goes very quickly, guys. <laughs> All right, so um, she has a little explanation in the very beginning of why she did the crow tarot because she loves crows, um, and so she wanted to um, make a deck that had crows in it. And then she has, you know, the explanations for each one. I never played Ruger. Yeah, I never played. I can't even speak Euchre, but I love Rummy, Blackjack, and Mau Mau. Ooh, I don't know Mau Mau. Euchre is really fun. It has a uh, trump suit, and then it's it's not 
it's not a game that's easily taught though. I don't, like we grew up with it, so I can't imagine trying to teach somebody. Although I think I taught my kids, so. Not gonna be getting the guidebook because of all the issues I had with backing the deck. Okay, now, I, Ben, I had heard that the people who backed the deck on Kickstarter had a really hard time and were really ticked because didn't the deck came out um, like the mass produced deck came out before you guys got your decks or something. I had heard that something happened and it, I was kind of glad that this was not one of the ones that I had backed. The book is like 30 bucks plus shipping. Ooh, wow, that is a lot. Uno, yeah, I know, I love Uno. That was a good game. Hi, honey. Wow, 30 bucks. So then she has the crow tarot spread at the end. And so a couple actually, but the crow one obviously is the big one. And then she kind of describes herself at the end. As far as I know, none of us ever got the readings we were supposed to get to. Really? Hi, Raven Crow. So you guys all back to the dock and didn't get the readings that you were promised. And then everybody else got their decks from mass produced places before. Yeah, I think I'd be ticked. I, I, I'm totally with you on that. I think I would be ticked. I have not had that kind of experience yet um, on Kickstarter. Although I will tell you that there is a deck that I have backed. And I'm trying to let it go. Because I decided a long time ago when I backed Kickstarter decks that I... Hi, Darian. That I was just going to back the deck and then try to forget about it as long as someday I got the deck and... You know, they checked in with us once in a while. I was going to try to let it go. I found you on Beltane this year. Oh, good. Thank you. But the indie deck is different from the mass market deck. It is. Well, that's good. There is a deck that I backed, though, uh, a long time ago now. I think it's been a year, almost. And that was supposed to come out in December of last year. And now we don't think it's going to come out until... My guess is he's saying July of this year, but I think I think it's gonna be more like December of this year. Um, because I heard the creators mistreated their Kickstarter backers. Yep, I know what I hear. I hear ya. Here's the thing: I'm really excited about this deck, so I'm like trying to not put negative energy into it, and I almost am like, oh, I don't know if I really want to say the name, but it kind of. It ticked me off a little bit because this creator got sixty thousand dollars. Sixty, not six, sixty thousand dollars from us Kickstarter backers. And I have seen this creator have other projects and like they will post and say, Oh, I had this big art show this week and blah 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 and I'm like good work on the tarot deck <laughs> you know we gave you sixty thousand dollars work on the effing deck <laughs> you know but I love the artwork so I'm I'm trying not to put negative energy into it I'll just say that I I think I'm not gonna say who it is which I know you guys are like who is it but if you don't know then you're not bagging the deck so it's okay Right? Because I don't want to put it out there, you know? Hi, Trisha. I'm the same way with MJ because she started the Wise Dog Tarot beforehand. Really? Ugh. Ugh. I, I really, this deck is gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And even like, <laughs> right? Uh, I know the thing I, it <laughs> I've been trying to be so good but this last we finally got another um, update and they were like oh so I finished this suit and I'll get I'll start doing the other suits and I thought suits you still have suits left to do <laughs> Especially when I see them doing other projects, I think, no, we paid you 60,000 goddamn dollars. You better get our tarot deck done. All right, I'm gonna say, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't wanna, hmm. 
All right, I am gonna say it. It's the Blood Moon Tarot. And it, it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. The artwork is absolutely stunning. But it literally was supposed to come out last December and they're not even done painting the fucking deck yet. <laughs> so I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, it is. That's more than I make in a year. So what the hell? <laughs> yeah. And then they're doing other, oh, I have a little ant. Get off of there. They're doing other projects and stuff. I'm like, no, you should not be doing other projects. You should be doing our tarot deck because you promised us that deck in December of last year. <laughs> what the hell? But it is so, if you look up the deck, it's the images are absolutely stunning. Obviously, this artist is extremely talented. Yeah, I look at Kickstarter as a promise to have the deck done at some point. I never think anymore that it's that it's going to be on time because it almost never is. Um, but I do think that we should be seeing that they're really trying hard to make progress. I mean, look at Bone Stone and Earth Flesh. I have to say that deck is super late too, but I am totally fine with that because Avalon comes in and tells us exactly what's going on. And the poor thing, poor Avalon has gone through so much shit. But she has been totally transparent about it and has been totally like, I can't believe all this crap that, um, doesn't it look amazing? See? that. I, but anyway, Avalon has gone through all this trauma stuff that I'm like, I, and everybody, I, I think as far as I'm concerned, everybody is fine with that. And I know I am because she's been so transparent about it that I don't, whenever the deck comes out, that's great. I trust her because she's on there like every other day saying, look, this is what's been going on. I'm really sorry, blah, 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 whatever. So I trust her, um, and I can't wait till the, that deck comes out either. But as long as she's on telling us what's going on, I'm fine. Avalon, no, um, this the Bone Stone and Earth Flash deck actually was not through Kickstarter. They, um, she did the pre-orders like through Etsy, and that deck is going to be absolutely a personal favorite deck, no matter what. She went on with um, Anna Turian is her artist, and they went on YouTube and painted the images like on live YouTubes, and we got to be part of the process. And they took suggestions of how to tweak each image, and I just adore her. So that was like, that's a totally new way to do a deck. So as far as I'm concerned, that's gonna be a, an incredible deck, and, and when it does come out, it's gonna be amazing. But Poor Avalon has gone through all kinds. I mean, she, her uncle died in front of her. She had to move across the country. She lives in Australia. She had to move across the country. Then they had these huge fires right next to her house, and she had to get evacuated. All this stuff happened, but she continued to come on and say, oh, my gosh, this has pushed back my deadline. This has pushed back my, de my deadline. Just check the deck out in the art. It's so beautiful. See? I know. So... I'm not crazy. I feel like I can't, I don't want to be negative about that deck, but I am kind of like, okay, enough's enough. It was supposed to be done in December. I don't want to hear about the rest of your projects. <laughs> Get this done. <laughs> okay. This is the Crow Tarot. <laughs> you want it too now? I'm sure. Are you talking about Blood Moon or are you talking about Bone Stone and Earth Flesh? Um, Cause I'm sure uh, Blood Moon anyways, I know he, they'll be selling it when they're finally done. They'll be selling it um, extra copies and stuff. Bonestone, I'm not so sure. Um, Cause I know they had two rounds of uh, pre-order kind of stuff. And like every one is, is sold out. But Blood Moon, when it comes out someday, I'm almost positive they'll be selling it. So you'll be able to get it. Just keep an eye out. <laughs> It's all right. Don't worry about it. You know I'm a squirrel. That's why you call me Mama Squirrel. I feel like sometimes when I make art, I only make it when I really feel good. So I don't put that bad energy into my work. But I've recently learned to create that boundary. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? Yes. Yeah, Bone Stone is amazing too. I, ca I cannot wait for that deck. I totally understand that as an artist. Except I feel like 
maybe when they started the campaign then they should have come out and said you know what it could be a year and a half before this happens because I still have a whole lot of stuff we were I, I don't know I feel like at the time I was under the impression that the deck was almost done and that then we'd have to go through all the printer stuff which we always get delays with the printer stuff but then all of a sudden I mean this is the first update that I've gotten recently that I I just kind of noticed that they're saying oh yeah I still have suits to go so I think they're only done with two suits and they still have two left to go are you kidding it was supposed to be put out last December what the hell have you been doing and I keep seeing about all the oh I had this great show that I had to do and I, this project for somebody else you know blah 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 uh -uh. I'm done with all your projects okay crow tarot here we go here's the fool now again this um, I'm really gonna like this deck hi Shamara by the way I did see you hi I'll check my uh, email <laughs> Um, I'm really going to like this deck because it is very Rider weight. Um, and it's like she had the crow step into the human's positions almost, which I think was a really interesting way to look at it, especially if you're like a follower of Morrigan or Hecate or any one of the goddesses, uh, the dark goddesses, you know, that, that the raven and the crow have a lot to do with them. Yeah, I do too. Oops. Here's the High Priestess. It's really um, a great concept. There was, there's a couple of cards as I was going through them, I have to say that I was like, oh, I don't know about that one, but not many. You know, I don't think any deck will ever be absolutely perfect. Look, at, I love the Ram Head and they're standing on the sword. That's just great. Um, I don't think any deck will ever be like, oh my gosh, this is the most per perfect deck ever made, unless you make your own, you know? There'll always be a card that you're like, hmm, I'm not sure what that was. But I have not read the book. You know me, I don't read books very well. I mean, I read books well, <laughs> but I don't tend to read the tarot decks books. Here's the lovers. I do too. I absolutely love uh, the concept of this deck. I love the way that she has um, has pulled this off. I think it's great. Um, I just don't know about a few cards. And I haven't hit one of them yet. So far, these are all good. I love the Hermit card. Love that. That's like got to be one of my favorite hermits ever. I love that card. I love to see the star down below. Just gorgeous. It was MJ. Colleen was the creator. Here's the Wheel of Fortune. It's one of your favorite to read with. Good. So somehow, Ben, you were able to... Um, not associate that negative energy with the deck. That's really good because I'll tell you, here's my justice card. I love that too. Yeah, absolutely. The backgrounds are gorgeous. Because I have, I have to say, I must admit, as much as I love the images of the Dark Mansion deck, because it took me so long and I had such a negative uh, process with getting that deck, I lo look at the Hanged Man. That is a beautiful, awesome card for that. Um, because the Dark Mansion, though, took me so long to get, and I had such a negative experience with the, with the owner, the artist creator, I have a really hard time using that deck for readings. Because that, that energy kind of got in the deck for me. And I... <sighs> I kind of feel like I put it away for a while because I love it and I feel like hopefully I can smudge the hell out of that deck in another six months or something when Samhain comes around and feel better about it then because maybe that won't be so fresh and raw. Look at the death card. Gorgeous. For the Blood Moon Tarot, she posted on Twitter around six hours ago working on the suit of songs. 
Yeah, see? <laughs> Can you do a special cleansing bonding ritual for the deck? Possibly. And I think, I do think that it's going to help me. I literally have put it away and I decided I'm not going to touch it again until it's closer to Samhain. Because um, I think maybe just taking a break from the deck is going to help. I was tempted to buy the Dark Mansion, but so many people mentioned similar issues. Yeah, I know. It, it is an absolutely, that's a cool temperance card too. It is an absolutely brilliantly artistic deck. Um, but, it, I mean, how much, it took me, what, four months, I think, before I actually got the deck, and I had to go back and forth with the creator. I think I ended up with 33 emails back and forth, and by the end, she was pissy with me about, well, I'm the one that's going to have to lose money, and you'll probably get that other deck someday, and blah, 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 and I was like, you know what, <laughs> don't even start with me, honey. Awesome devil card, I love this. The fact that he's wearing the um, the ram's head and look at he's got a bluebird held captive here. Awesome, awesome. Um, so I'm gonna try, you know, around Samhain to bring that duck out again, smudge the crap out of it, and hope that I can use it. There's the tower. Look how the birds falling. Ugh, oh, that's just spectacular. Yeah, this is gonna be a good deck, working wise. The star, gorgeous. I'm not gonna show all the miners, guys. I'll show a couple miners, but there's the moon. I love the shadow of the crow on the moon. That's just beautiful. I did, yay! There's Deb right there. Thank you, Deb. I was saying how months ago we had talked about this and it's been on back order and back order and back order. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I really think it's going to be a great reading deck. Uh-oh, now I have the bug to go mythic and look through their decks. <laughs> uh, the artwork is really cool looking. Are there any Greco-Roman mythology themed decks? Yes, 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 yes. Levi, I have a deck, as a matter of fact, called, I think it's called the Roman Tarot. And I got it off Etsy, and I love that deck for it's that's that Greco-Roman theme. Yay! That's good. I know. I was saying you're gonna be here to to look at it. I'm so glad I got it before you got here. Um, but I have an unboxing of it, uh, Levi. If you look under my unboxing playlist, I'm pretty sure. I hope I put the title in the um, in the title of the video I hope it's ca it's called the Roman tarot I think all right so here we are I'm not going to show all of the minors but I'll show some of the you know major ones here's the ten of wands look at that it's burdensome he's trying to fly with all of these wands I mean that's great the Eight of Wands. Yay, Sherry Bug! <laughs> That's definitely that motion, that movement, for sure. Okay, because it is so humid out here, I'll bring my version. Yes, yes, please do, because I would love to see the difference between the Kickstarter backed deck and um, ours. That would be great. Oh, here's the Six of Wands, Victory. That's a great card. Hi, Thomas. The Five of Wands, that's a great card. I know, I'm not going to show all of them, I swear. <laughs> oh, the Two, here's the Two of Wands. That's a great card. I do love a lot of the, uh, the court cards are really beautiful, too. Here's the Knight of Cups. And she did, she even incorporated the fish in the Page of Cups, <laughs> which is great. Here's the Ten of Cups. I'll show some of the iconic cards, you know. Here's the Five. 
I love them except the white borders. Yeah, I know. Actually, because of the backs. So here's the backs. I don't know if I showed the backs before. The cardstock is good. Um, because the backs are so nondescript, you could absolutely cut the borders right off of there. So, yeah, it is. It's an animal. Yeah, they're not. They are kind of, I don't know. They, they're not quite white. They're kind of like marbled. Oh, each card has different colors. Oh, yeah, it does. I'll have to watch more later. We're digging a perimeter drain around the house. Ooh, wee. <laughs> I'm not at all uh, jealous. But thank you so much, Deb. I can't wait till you see them. Hi, Sandra. Oh, thank you. Some are pinkish, some are bluish. Dinner? Dinner or pinkish? <laughs> tea stain there you go kind of yeah yep here's the three of cups that's a good one and the two the little lovers I have little teeny ants crawling all over my tripod <laughs> um that's it. here's the queen of swords <laughs> gotta love yeah gotta love Arla correct I love her because obviously swords is my suit Love, love, love. Here's the 10. Sad 10. Here's the 9. That's a good one, too. Look at He's almost dreaming. You can really see his dream, his nightmare. That's a good one. Here's a good 8. I, I love the sword of, or the suit of swords, guys. So sorry. 6. That's a good one. Here's a 4. It's really good. It's funny his little legs are sticking up in the air. Here's the three. Feel his heartache looking after she's flying away. I don't know why I'm assuming that's the woman flying away, but you know. Here's the two. Thank you. I'm working on the outside for tarot stock, so it's getting there. The back is even nicer, but I don't want to show too much of the back until after tarot stock or during tarot stock. Um, so, and my least favorite uh, suit is the pentacles, but I'll show a few of those too. <laughs> I've been away for a while. I'm just getting through a major tower moment. Oh, Rebecca just ordered the crow tarot. Good. Good. I think. It could be a male crow too. Absolutely. I don't know why I think of, you know, the woman being the one leaving. But it could be a male leaving a male or a woman leaving. A, that's a good part about crows. It could be anything. I certainly can't tell the difference between a male crow and a female crow. <laughs> I love this one. This was one of my favorites. All right. Come on, little ant. Get off of my camera. <laughs> that's a really good one. I love the wolf there. Eight, seven. Here's the five. I like that one too. With the swirls down below. So pretty. And here's the two. Now someone just needs to make a giraffe tarot, right? Yay! All right, and there's the ace. Yay! I know it's it's good. It's good. I like that one for sure. So I am gonna unbox um, one other thing real quick because I'm kind of excited to see it and I don't want to unbox it without showing you. This is just a playing card deck, or actually it's two playing card decks. Um, but I love to back playing card decks on Kickstarter because they always come out so cute and pretty, or you know, however you like them. Um, this is uh, the Alice the Looking Glass deck and the Wonderland deck. They are both uh, Alice decks that are based on the original artwork. Um, so first, checking the Roman Tarot. Oh, good, because I really liked that deck. At the Wildlife Center where I volunteer once a week, we have permanent resident crow named Mars Awe. The Hermit and Hangman cards, yes. I love, the Hermit is like my favorite. 
And the hanged man is definitely a good one too. I never know, I'm just using my teeth. <laughs> What, have I not seen these? Oh, you love Alice? I do too. I'm an Alice girl. I got all kinds of Alice. I have most of the Alice Tarot decks now, except the first edition of the Alice Tarot, but I have, you know, the new version. And I have um, a great copy of the, um, the Alice in Wonderland deck, the yellow deck that they put in a tin. I have the original, which is worth a lot more. And, of course, I have the... What's the new one that Barbara Moore did? The Wonderland Tarot, the Tarot in Wonderland? I have that one too. Ah. I. Gross. <laughs> Hi, Jen. It's been a while. I can't wait to see this deck. Yay! I know, right, Michelle? Hi. Hi, Ricky. I have Game of Thrones playing cards deck coming. Yay! Right? I love, I do too. I love the original artwork for sure. Hi, Cha. So, um, I, you know, I had to get the playing cards that had, let's see, let's look at uh, the Wonderland deck first since that's the first book. So they come in these cute little boxes. And the Wonderland deck says the Wonderland deck on the side and it is uh, in green around the outside here. Um, and you can see that's who created it. So uh, in case you want to find them, I don't know if you can see it with my hand moving so much. You have Harry Potter playing cards deck. Ooh, I have quite a few. I'll have to pull out my playing cards. Um, uh, collection and kind of show some of them because I, I have quite a few and I keep backing more and more on Kickstarter. I have a deck actually that I was really excited about that was supposed to be here before Tarot Stock uh, that was a voodoo deck called the Samity deck I think that also had like a coin to it and dice a divination part of it like specifically made for divination and it's not going to be here till July now I think or June the end of June. All right, so quick, here's the Wonderland deck. Here's one of the Jokers. So first of all, here's the back of the Wonderland deck. The Cheshire Cat. Yay! And so we'll show the Ace of Spades is the Rabbit. And then the, um, it's like a pip deck, obviously, you know, most of the card, the playing card decks are pips, although these pips are gorgeous. So I really, I know, I will have to show you guys the Samity deck. Uh, and then you get to the Jack. Ooh, that's awesome. Uh, then the queen of spades is Alice. Is that, is this the Jabberwocky? Is the Jack, is that supposed to be the Jabberwocky? And then, oh, I love this. Here's the king. And then the ace of diamonds. The caterpillar, this hookah, and then the pips, which I like. I said even the pips, I think, look really pretty. They're not like normal pips. They kind of, you know, made them a little prettier, interesting, anyways. Like, look at that nine. They put it in an inter interesting shape, and here's the jack. <laughs> Hi, Willow. Super cute, these cards. Here's the queen. <laughs> the king. And 
and here ooh so they made a suit of keys instead of clubs you know interesting if ants are a continuous issue issue sprinkle cinnamon around the base of the tripod oh that's thank you for the tip levi i love it so i love that the um clubs turned into keys that's awesome for the mad hatter there and the queen is at the table for the unbirthday Here's the Jack. I know, I love these two. Look at the 10. Like I said, they're pips, but they've made them really interesting pips, you know? Really awesome. Even just the pips are awesome. Uh, and then the Ace of Clubs or Keys. Is the cat. And then, so, and then we have the hearts, which is like in a little locket. Whole cloves are also an ant deterrent. It's what we use in the kitchen where we don't want any traps. That's great. Thank you. I need all the help I can get. You played Cheshire? Yay! Here's the queen, of course. Off with their heads. All right, now I feel like they're crawling up me, fuckers. Here's the jack. Yeah, these are super cute. Uh-oh, I'm back to my super cute. <laughs> I have the 10. They, I just, I really appreciate that they even made the pips interesting. It's kind of cool. And then the ace is the white rabbit. And then they made one card that is the back is on both sides, which I think is great. I love that. All right, and then we'll look at the looking glass deck too. So um, on the Kickstarter, you could have gotten one or the other, but of course I wanted one of each. Because I need one of each. So here is the looking glass deck. Which I really wish I had brought a knife. By the way, so the trick is to open these boxes, you have a, a butter knife and you slide it in and flip it out and then it won't stick like I'm ruining the top of this because I didn't bring a butter knife out. That's the trick, but I forgot. Okay, so here's the back of these, which this is the looking glass deck. Here's the backs. I need one of everything, right? How cute. Climbing up on the mantle to see the looking glass closer. Here's the Joker. There's two Jokers. They are both the same. Here's the Ace of Clubs. There's the Turkey. <laughs> and then again, same kind of pips. They are, at least they made them interesting. I'm really glad sometimes I get a deck and I'm disappointed because the pips are so, I mean, they could be any deck. At least, look at, at least make them interesting, you know? Pips are pips, but you can make them cool. Neat at least. And neat. Oh, look at that one. That's so neat. I love it. I'd love to buy these decks and paint, color them in, right? Have you watched the Sabrina? Yes, I have. Most of it. I am not done with the second. I keep forgetting to go back and finish the second season though. I've seen the first season. I'm anticipating the end of my exams to watch the second. Yay! I haven't finished the second one yet either. Here's the Jack. <laughs> so cool. Oh, I love this. Queen Alice is the queen. <laughs> That's 
great. Here's the king. That's cool. And ace of diamonds. Is the walrus in awe? Hi, Kay. I'm just showing off my Alice in Wonderland playing card decks that I backed on Kickstarter. One is the Looking Glass deck and one is the Wonderland deck. That's all right. Then we have the pips for the diamonds. And here's the jack. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Here's the, ah, oh, the queen. Love, love, love. They need to bring out a deck of the movie Bridge to Terabithia. Ah, oh, I love that. Except it's sad. I love that movie too, but I definitely cried. King. <laughs> then they have the clubs which turned into keys here's the king of the chessboard <laughs> and the queen I have to get out my books and read these books again I read them uh, when the Wonderland or the Tarot and Wonderland came out I read both the books again which I hadn't read since I was a kid but me too. My brother actually went to a uni class with the girl who played the main character. Ah. So again, I love the pips. They have done it in an interesting way, made the pips even interesting. And here, ah, look at who's the ace. <laughs> Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And here's the King of Hearts. <laughs> it's cute. And the Queen. I love that they have the chess pieces. Yes, I've only watched the movie, but it's still one of my favorite ones ever. Yeah, you gotta read the books. There's so much more in the books. I wish they would come out with a movie that actually incorporates a lot of the books in them. You know, because the books have some really interesting stories that um, have, like, the moral of the story in it. And most, I haven't seen a movie yet that actually has all the, you know, actual stories from the books in there. They take out a lot of it, which, you know, movies always do. But it's a kid's book. They should be able to do that, you would think. Here's uh, Humpty Dumpty. Is the ace. And then they have one card that is the back of the card on both. So, yeah, I, this was a really good, it was fairly cheap, I think, to back this on Kickstarter, too. Um, I will look, after this uploads, I'll look and see, I'm sure you can order it, and I will put the link underneath. Because um, they always, you know, they don't just make enough for Kickstarter people. They usually make it so you can buy them. So, oh, I know, I hear you. Eight more, and then you're free. Yay! Oh, that's good. How does backend Kickstarter work? Okay, so if you're new to Kickstarter, let me tell you how it works. Kickstarter is um, for uh, creators that don't have a publisher behind them. Um, and so they have an idea, or they have started creating. There's all kinds of things that they could be. Let me take a drink. Um, the, it's not just for tarot and oracle. There's there's so many things on there. Um, there's like sneakers. I almost uh, backed a, um, it was called a car hammock and gave it to my kids for Christmas because um, it hooked up to the back of the car and, and over the roof and stuff. So if you ever got stuck someplace, you had some place to sleep because it like, um, what do I want to say? It like hung over so it wasn't laying on hard ground, you know, it hung. Um, there's all kinds of ideas you can back on there. So what, what it happens is it they basically 
pitch an idea to you. They give you this idea. When you go and you click on an idea, they say, okay, this is the idea I have. Um, and hopefully if they're tarot decks and oracle decks, they have at least made half the cards or more. A lot of them have already painted the cards. The cards are done. They're just trying to get funding to actually print the cards. Um, so they give you, they pitch you their idea. And then there's multiple different tiers that you can back this idea on. And it tells you, when you look at it, it tells you what you will get for these multiple tiers. Let's say most of them have like a dollar, which you're not going to get anything. It's just saying, oh, I like your idea. Here, here's a dollar. Um, and then you have, you know, you might have the deck is $35. And it'll say, this gets you the tarot deck. And usually it says, and any, um, what are they called? Add-ons. Any, um what the hell are they called if they go over the amount a lot of a lot of creators will uh, create extra things and give you extra things which of course I cannot remember even though I'm a super backer and I back multiple decks a week uh, I'm an idiot <laughs> stretch goals ha, thank you Ben so yeah a lot of them will put in stretch goals so if they if they make they, they set a goal of, let's say, $10,000, and they say, okay, if I get enough people together who will back this deck and it adds up to $10,000, then I will make the deck. Then they have to take it to the printer. They have until the date that it says, let's say they say July 1st. If July 1st comes and enough people have said, yes, I will back your deck, and they reach the goal that they have set, then they take it to the printers and they do all that and they have, you know, forever really to give you your product. But they don't charge your card until that date, until the date that it says on there, this campaign ends July 1st. So on July 1st, if they have reached their goal, your credit card then gets charged on July 1st. If they don't reach the goal and they don't get enough people to back them, your credit card never gets charged because then they didn't make their goal. If they make over their goal, oftentimes creators will have what's called stretch goals. So if they said, I have to make $10,000 and they've made it to $15,000, sometimes they say, okay, at $15,000, I'll also make a pin and you'll get a little pin with your deck. If they make twenty thousand dollars they say okay I'll also it, it was supposed to be a little tuck box now we'll have a hardback two-piece box and you don't have to pay anything extra for it you get that because you backed the deck already so you, there's other stretch goals that they go through and they'll, they'll tell you as they go through it but I always thought it's a good idea because it means that creators I'm not sure how it posted again maybe it was meant for you twice <laughs> I always, um, it's, it's really meant for creators who are, you know, aren't backed by a publishing company or anything. Hi, Jesse, to be able to create their decks and get them out there. So, you know, usually they go to a professional printer or they'll go through that make playing card site, MP, MPS, whatever it is. Um, and then I have to say that I would say 90% of the time, probably it's later you get the, the deck or whatever you said you were going to get. You get it a little bit later than what they said. It's not always like that. Sometimes you actually get it earlier. Sometimes you get it on time. Um, but because people um, who... Come on. Sorry, trying to get the um, little ant off. Um, because people who go on there oftentimes have never dealt with a printer or anything before. They kind of guess how much time it will take and then they realize oh it took a lot longer so you know they they'll come out and say oh geez the printer I didn't realize the printer was gonna take so much time and I'm sorry it's gonna be a little later but normally they are very good about letting you know I haven't had too many problems and guys I have backed a whole lot of decks I'm what they call a super backer and that means that I have backed a ton of decks and cards and other things I, I bet most of the time I either back Oracle and tarot decks or playing card decks I have been known to though to back um, let's see I back sneakers once hi Ayla hi Kelsey 
I backed, uh, I backed a couple things that didn't make it too. Um, but I think it's a really good uh, idea to um, support new creators. So I really like the Kickstarter idea and I haven't been burned very much. I have, I've heard of a couple projects that have burned. It's a lot of money to back an idea. It is not, you can back an idea for as little or as much as you want. There's, there's tiers. If you go on Kickstarter and you like search tarot and look at a deck that you think you might be interested in, look on the right hand side and it has tiers. It'll say for $35, you get just the deck. For $45, you get the deck and a print of your favorite card. For $50, you, so there's different tiers. You can back it as little or as much as you want if a product falls through. So this is, this is the, the problem. I'll tell you, I'm not sure, depending on which one you're talking about, Okay, If they don't get enough money at the end, if they set a goal of $10,000, and I'm just using that, some of them are like $2,000. But if they set a goal for $10,000 and they only get enough backers for $8,000, it's not a monthly payment, nope. They only get enough um, enough backers for $8,000, then, hi, Oyas girl, hi! I haven't seen you in so long. I totally, I, ah, I totally haven't seen you in forever. How are you? I hope you're great. And I hope that you saw my thank you video which came right after you sent me that awesome book from Deviant Moon, by the way, because I am so grateful. That is like the best book ever. I never read tarot books, but that book I'm reading, it is awesome. But anyways, but I thank you. So to like from the bottom of my soul, thank you. Um, I don't even know where I was. <laughs> but if it doesn't make the goal, then it, your credit card never gets charged and it doesn't move forward. Um, if you're talking about what happens if they take all the money and they never give you your product, then you lose. There isn't, Kickstarter specifically says that, um, that they're not responsible. I'll tell you though, that doesn't happen very often. I have only heard of one, one project. Hi, Victoria. Um, yay, right, Ayla? I have only heard of one project that has ever like said I'm I'm just backing out and they took all of people's money because then you're ostracized it's you can never go into that community again you can so there's I haven't really heard of a whole lot of that happening Kay it's usually uh, there's delays because when you're new and you're not really experienced at creating something like that I can see why they don't really know how long it's going to take and they kind of guess and then they go oh you know what this the printer said it was going to be a lot longer than i had originally thought so i usually expect it it happens in indiegogo does it really see now i have to say i'm i have never backed anything on indiegogo and i don't know why it's i've never been drawn to that site I think because Kickstarter has way too much already, I'm like, nope, I don't want to start a new thing because I already spend way too much on Kickstarter. I don't need to go someplace else. Crow Terra was into ah, Crow Terra was into go go. It's terrible. Um, I, for the most part, I think Kickstarter has done pretty well. Um, as long as you know ahead of time. And you, I kind of just set myself up and say, you know what? I, I expect stuff to be later than what they say usually because they don't usually understand how long it takes. Um, but as long as I'm not, you know, checking the mailbox every day, then I, I really have not been disappointed in too many. I've been disappointed in what I got just because I was like, eh, that's not as great as I thought. But I, I don't think that was the creator's fault. I think that was just me looking at something and going, oh, wow, I might really like that. Or looking at it for three seconds and saying I might really like that and backing it and not. I, I am bad with that. Sometimes I just don't pay enough attention. And I'm like, oh, that's a good concept. I like that. <laughs> Click. <laughs> I'm terrible. So there's probably two or three of those that I, I don't think I've ever shown on here because I was like, 
Yeah, well, partly my allergies, Kay, and partly it's really muggy out here. And the ants, the little ants are all over. They're driving me nuts. <laughs> so, um, I still have one Kickstarter deck to show, which I probably will not do until tomorrow. Um, I have, it is muggy. Yes, I know. And Ben is right next door to me. So, uh, I have another deck. Yes, they want tarot too. <laughs> I have another deck coming today um, in Amazon. And I'll tell you ahead of time that it is, shoot, now I can't remember what it's called. Everyday, Everyday Tarot? The Everyday Tarot? Big bright yellow box. Oh, that little ant. Get off of there. Um, but... I specifically back or backed. I specifically got Everyday Witch. Is that the big yellow? Yeah. No, the Everyday Enchant Enchantment Tarot, um, which is supposed to come today, I believe. Yes, it says it's out for delivery. I specifically backed backed. Now I'm talking Kickstarter. I'm never going to speak right again. I specifically um, bought that tarot because the creator is having a really hard time. And I read on her website, um, at least your answer outside, yeah, no kidding, Whew. Uh, that she has hardly gotten any um, really good. I'm glad she's hardly gotten any money out of the tarot deck that she created um, because of somehow the way her royalty deal worked out she has not gotten very much money and she's having a really hard time um, yes there is a dinosaur Marseille tarot deck on Kickstarter I did see that there's all kinds of stuff that make me laugh um, so I really felt bad for her and um, the publisher of that deck uh, the Everyday Enchantment said that they weren't going to, unless it started selling better, they weren't going to reorder, like they weren't going to make any more of it because it didn't seem like it was selling well enough. And I think that's a really gorgeous deck. I just, it's been on my list for a while. It's just not one that was at the top of my list. So I specifically, after seeing that, I specifically bought it because I thought, well, that's sad because she put her heart and soul into it. And now it's like, eh. We'll be seeing you soon, I know, right? Yay! I can't wait to see you all for Tarot Stock. I'm so excited. I have so much left to do, but I'm really psyched. I, I have several of the altars are done. Deck of Star Wars characters in the style of gods and goddesses would be gold. <sighs> that would be awesome. I would buy that. Maybe we should make that. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get going for now. Um look for me tomorrow I know I wish you all could come I really do I'm not I'm not kidding about starting a commune if I ever won the lottery I would start a commune <laughs> oh is it good I'm so glad because I'll tell you it looked gorgeous and it's been on my list forever and I just it just you know sometimes decks sit on your list and you're not you're like oh, I can always get that and maybe this one is going out of print or this you know I don't normally buy second copies of dust. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. And I would recommend that because it does sound like they may not be reordering any copies. So if you really like that deck, now is the time to buy it. Um, cause it, they may run out and be done. And maybe if you buy it and enough people do that, maybe they'll make more of it. And the poor artist will get some credit and some money from it. <laughs> I feel so bad. Um, okay, so I'm off for now. I, I will be back on tomorrow definitely because I have at least two decks to unbox at that time. So I know I am so happy for all of you joining Tarot Stock too because it's going to be a blast. <coughs> and for those of you who can't come, make sure you try to watch some of the live streams. <coughs> I'm going to post some of the different channels that are going to have their live streams on. Um, there will be some on my channel too, but I want to make sure that some of the smaller channels that don't have 
um, a big enough audience as far as I'm concerned that they can um, you're uploading a deck review yay that they can get some more followers too so I think that's great yes the other kin yes that looks really good too because that's like the same author as the line strider right and the um, the herbal one that looks really good too Uh, I know I wish that you guys all were able to come it's if it's the right one everyday enchantment is on Amazon for 28 yes yes it's a big yellow box for sure and that other kin looks great it looks really good and I really like the line strider tarot so I'll have to look into it <coughs> bye guys I love you guys so much and we will see you tomorrow and I know you all will be here in spirit I definitely know that. And um, where do I buy my shirts at? Uh, Goodwill. <laughs> I'm a thrifter girl, guys. I don't buy anything new. Like, literally nothing new. I buy at Goodwill, Savers, <laughs> the flea market. <laughs> um, all right. Underwear, I buy underwear new at Walmart. <laughs> but I do not buy anything new. I just don't. Uh, it's, especially with stuff like clothing because textiles and I don't know if you guys know this but textiles are filling up our landfills so as far as I'm concerned there's enough out there already that we should be able to repurpose it and um, hi gypsy I'm just going off but that's okay um that we should be able to repurpose it and and wear it for something else or <laughs> so I don't buy clothes new very often um, once in a while I might, might buy a t-shirt but most of my clothes are thrifted I bet you 90%. So this, I'm sure I got at Goodwill. <laughs> that's what it is. At least you guys know that I'm honest. <laughs> Repurpose, that's right. Repurpose, reuse. Absolutely. Recycle. Yay! See, I, I just think that's the, the best way to do things. Because there's enough pretty things out there. Let's just find it. <laughs> about cleansing energy from used stuff. Oh, I will. I have, and that's one thing I can definitely talk about. We'll, we'll talk about that very soon. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll put it into tarot stock because we're going to do some tips about thrifting. So maybe I'll do that into tarot stock about how to cleanse stuff when you get at home. There's lots of good ways to cleanse it, but you definitely want to cleanse the energy when you get at home. All right, guys. I love you tremendously. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you soon.